Well, hello there. This is Vinata, and welcome to Let's Play Silent Hill 2. As you can see, everything will be on normal. And... until after this. Dear, we are going through the urinal. And that was one filthy urinal. <laughs> We're really going through that urinal. Mary, could you this... this town? Okay, this is not English. This this is Japanese. I'll be right back. Okay, now this is more like it. This is English. Also, that's a photo of Murray. I'm gonna exit through here now. And we'll get another little cutscene. Restless dreams. I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. got a letter. The name on the envelope said, Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Well, I doubt the dead can come back to life, but in a place like Silent Hill, you never know. So in here we grab our map, which is in James's car. Got a map of Silent Hill. Now basically, I decided to start off with Silent Hill 2 because it's completely irrelevant, sort of, to the main storyline. Um, except for Silent Hill 4, in which there is a slight tie-in. Not a slight tie-in, there is a tie-in. With, uh, between Silent Hill 4 and Silent Hill 2. No, it's not nothing big, but it, it is there. Now, one thing you notice about Silent Hill 2 is the music. It is so wonderful. I absolutely adore the music in this game. Now, as we descend down this um, hill, the, yeah, we are. <laughs> we feel like we have some company. I'm not really sure what that is, but. All I know is that it is a long way down this uh, pathway here. And then the music gets kind of more sinister as you can hear. Now as we go down here, there is going to be this little gazebo here. Uh, I'll show you what's in it actually. Basically you click into it and you'll see this little red thing. This little red paper. Basically, 
what this paper is, is our save point. Now, I'm not going to bother saving just yet, but this is just to show you that there is a save point here if you ever need it. So we'll go and embark further on our journey, go through these gates. And mind the camera. The camera is a little wonky in this game, but eh, it can be forgiven. Oh, who's that? This is taking a little longer than usual. Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh! I, I'm sorry. I... I was just... Oh, it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This... uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying! No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for... someone. Who... who, who is it? Someone... very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but... I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I... I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Well, that girl was a little, uh, weird. She did try to warn us, though, of what's in Silent Hill. Anyway, here's the gate. And the funky camera. Though, as I said, it can be forgiven, this... There is just such more, so many redeeming qualities to this game, even though it is quite awkward. And it really does sound like someone's following us right now. And we just passed Silent Hill Ranch, I believe. I suppose if we went in we could rent a horse and gallop our way through the city. But I doubt there's anyone there right now. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep running while jogging through because James gets tired very easily, as you can see. I suppose if we really wanted to, we could just rob a truck or something like the one we passed, I think. Man, I can't even remember. <laughs> but we could hotwire it and just steal it, but we're too, we're too... we're above that. So we're just gonna carry on our merry way on foot. We'll do fine. Well, okay, there we go. Go through the bars here. Whoa. Little bit of a sound problem there. Nothing too major, though. We're alright. Now, um, get the camera to go around. There we go. Now, there are a 
good few kind of specific specified like views views I suppose you could say. I am at a loss for words tonight. I can't seem to remember anything. But there are specific viewpoints, I suppose, where the camera fixes itself so that you see in a specific area, rather. There we go. I think I've explained it. <laughs> but, you know, a car would really be handy right now. I mean, jogging just... You know, humans are slow. Sometimes technology just really is for the better. There's even another car there, but... And the, that blue thing, I think it was a truck. Anyway, we are now entering Silent Hill. I'm gonna go to the left because I do believe that there is... Yep, see James looking? James will look at items. And what we picked up was a first aid kit. Now we can actually go ahead. And have a look around in this, what seems to be a completely empty town. The only thing to keep us company is the fog and blood. Lots of blood. go ahead and run right after it, which I'm kind of doing right now, but up ahead there is, at this area, you are, fe like, feel free to actually run around Silent Hill here, because there are a few pickups right before you actually encounter whatever that is that we just saw when we chased after it. Also, Monument. Oh. Remains of Blood Swan. Survivors of the land surrounding this monument was originally swamp Blair filled up from long ago. This place was nicknamed Blood Swamp because the survivors poured the water used to watch the exorcism holes in here. Perhaps it's uh, for that reason that many people claim to have seen something in the area. What could it mean? And also there is tape here. So... It is impenetrable. We cannot walk through the tape. We can't go over the tape. We can't go under the tape. The tape is there, and the tape stays there. So I'm gonna run around and I'm gonna have a look, see if I can find any of these items. I am com actually completely lost right now of where the items are. Ah, uh, the map's not really doing it for me. So I'm just gonna jog around here. Because as far as I know, there is some steps, and there is a health drink there. I just, like, this is where I was. I just need to find it. I'm not really sure where it is. I'll find it eventually. It can't take that long. Um, hmm. Also, scenic wall here. You know, it's, that's good too. Ah, here we are. This, this is the place. This is where we get a health drink. Hell drink. No. Can we go? Oh. Oh, the shadow bothers us, so I guess we have to go after it. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just follow the trail of blood along the road, and. You know, only good things are to come from this. Just gonna jog around here. There we go, there's more blood. And we just have to keep going straight, and then we we'll, we should we should be going on the right path. Yep, there we go. And this will lead us into the right down here. Nice friendly looking laneway here. Now inside there, there is two health drinks on a save point. I'm not going to bother with that because we are going to come back, so we can just go in there at that point in time. So basically what we're doing now is we are going to stalk the monster thing. It looked like a monster. I mean it was kind of going kind of weird unless they were... Okay, crazy sounds. James, there's something beside you there.
Behold, I have a plank. Die. Is it dead? What the hell is it? It's not human. Great observation, James. What's this? Dead. Really, because it looks pretty alive to me. Anyway. Yeah. This thing broken? What the? I better take it anyway. I might need it. Exactly, we never know when we need that. Also, bloody footprints. Oh, our bloody footprints are gone. Basically, if James stands in blood or of anything that he kills or whatever, he will actually leave bloody footprints temporarily. Also, we can now go in here. And I can finally pick up all these goodies. The two health drinks. And there's another save point there, but I'm not gonna bother using that just yet. I'm gonna go back out. Now that we have actually encountered that monster, the whole town is filled with them. I'm gonna check my map here. Is it Martin Street or... I think it's that there. I'm not entirely sure. Ah, okay, I walked right into that, obviously. Smart move, self. Smart move. Anyway, I think I can go through- Okay, yeah, we go through here. Because the tape has magically been torn, so now we are allowed entrance to this area. Because we weren't allowed in here before. Also, more monsters. I think- Oh, yeah, yeah, we have to go through here. The sound of that bug just means go here for this moment and a nice health drink to help us on our way. Okay, oh fuck. Apartment gate key. Also, he looks like he's kind of turning into one of them. Anyway, we can now have access to an apartment. But I'm not going to go to that apartment just yet. There is another place I want to check out first. And that is... down here. Neely's Bar. Because there's something special in Neely's Bar. Oh, god damn it! You know, I was saying to myself, well, not out loud, but that I, was, I wasn't going to collect all the pickups in this game. But I'm starting to think that's a bad idea right about now. I'm just walking into everything. Walk on the footpath, James. It's dangerous to walk on the road. You might get run down. Now, is it? No, this is not the place. Let me check the map. Okay, we are nearly there, so... No, James is out of breath. Okay, this is not the place. This is not the place still. Is that, oh yeah, this is the place. That camera angle. Now, there's a map in here and we can trace some stuff from this map. This very bloodied map. But regardless of the blood, it is helpful. Now it's even telling us to go to Woodside Apartments. Also, there is a hole here. It's gone now. Possibly in relation to Silent Hill 4. So, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it here. So, until next time, thanks for watching.